Warning, physical damage. <sighs> As storytellers, we are always searching for uh, incredible sources of pressure to put on our character. If you're working on a war game, on a, on a military, uh, on a shooter, your kind of go-to gimme source of pressure is an enemy that is trying to shoot at you. And then with Infinite Warfare, having a lot of the missions take place outside of our breathable uh, atmosphere um, that just puts even more pressure on you. Now you have uh, an environment that's trying to kill you as well. You know, if you can't breathe, if you don't know which way is up, if you don't have normal gravity, these are all things that are conspiring against you as a player, conspiring against your squad, and it just adds to that pressure. And we're always looking for those ultimate sources of pressure. Because when you have those ultimate sources of pressure, all the niceties go out the window. And you really know what makes a person tick. And revealing that true nature of these people, that's storytelling in a nutshell. And that's the kind of stuff that we look for as sort of, uh, as, as a way to educate ourselves going through our own lives. There are three studios taking turns on the annual Call of Duty franchise. Two years ago, it was Sledgehammer Games with Advanced Warfare. Last year, it was Treyarch with Black Ops 3. And now, in 2016, it's time for Infinity Ward, the studio that started the franchise in the first place, to take its turn with the ubiquitous shooter series. And although Call of Duty draws millions of players with its fast-paced, progression-heavy multiplayer modes, Infinity Ward looked elsewhere when developing Infinite Warfare. It looked to the single-player campaign, not just its structure and set-piece moments, but also its story and how that story is told. And in an effort to set this new narrative apart, Infinity Ward took to outer space. Uh, first and foremost, uh, from a narrative standpoint, we wanted to tell a classic war story in the great tradition, hopefully, of a lot of the war stories that have come before us in books and movies and TV. You know, we wanted to have something that was sort of transcended time or transcended setting. <laughs> So, despite the story's new frontier, it is, in many ways, a return to Call of Duty's World War II roots. It's a story of black and white, good versus evil. It's the story about a massive sneak attack and the resulting war that changes its participants over time. In a lot of really um, well-received war stories, the story really centers on you and your squad and what you guys are going through and how you have each other's backs, and how the pressures of the war and the enemy hunting you can reveal things about your true nature. You want a confirmation, Captain? Take a look. There's your confirmation. It's, it's a stress. It's a pressure that's put on your guys. And, um, and we think that's a very interesting thing to, to reveal. What's your assignment, Drone? Captain's order staff, sir. And it's bot, not Drone, but... Deserving attempted at humor, sir. Don't call me, sir. I work for a living. Check your bot, Captain, before I throw him out of the airlock. Well, we wanted to tell a story about the burden of leadership, and we wanted to tell a story about people that cared about each other. You know, one of the things that we recognize from spending time and from some of the, you know, we've been inspired by movies like uh, Black Hawk Down, Saving Private Ryan, shows like Band of Brothers. Um, um, and, and one of the takeaways as storytellers and, and a, as an actor, as a writer, uh, are, are these um, remarkable relationships. I'm all right. I'm all right. Am I all right? Yeah. Yeah, you feel all right? Yeah, quit looking at me like that. We're trying to be grounded. We're trying to be in this world. What would really happen to these people, even though this is a, this is a future setting, even though this is a thing that's like, you know, we don't really know what that's going to look like, but we're, we're saying this is what it looks like, and if that's what it looks like, and we're still people, how do these people react, and how do these moments occur and everything? So the bomb, even in the bombast, we were trying to make it like, this is believable, this is a thing that could happen. One. Get that fire out! 
Yes, ma'am. We're going to reinforce these characters and have these moments in a level rather than in between levels. And we're going to think about this arc of character development and how that changes over the course of the game more than we've thought about that in the past. Last working. Travelers in, Sergeant. Members of the new Infinity Ward have worked on several iconic series, Tomb Raider, Uncharted, and The Last of Us, to name a few. Kurosaki himself came from Naughty Dog, a studio known for its storytelling prowess. He's helped shape stories about roguish treasure hunters and post-apocalyptic relationships. And as was the case with those stories, the team working on Infinite Warfare wants to morph not just its narrative, but how that narrative affects the gameplay. I have some choice hardware for you, Commander. A big tenet of this game was we wanted to give the players uh, some choices. We wanted to give the players mission choices. Uh, and we wanted uh, to feel that you were leading the charge. So we created this character of Reyes, who is the captain of the Retribution. You are the captain of your own carrier. And yeah, that was a challenge. It was a challenge not having the sort of fallback of a more senior uh, leader telling you where to go and what to do. This is a ground assault. Captain's place is on the bridge. Not this captain. I think one of the things that came out of Ghosts and uh, some and some COD games we've built over the past was this idea of playing a strong leadership role rather than being kind of one of the junior guys in the crew. A real big um, focus for us is making sure that the player is in sync emotionally with the protagonist. He disrespected you. Don't let him under your skin. And the more successfully you can do that, the more bought into the story and bought into the narrative and bought into the characters the player feels and the more closeness he feels and the more care the player feels. And therefore, again, you have these set pieces and the more emotional and a more uh, kind of like impactful they are. Try and stop me, sir. In the beginning, there was a lot of prototyping going on around different ideas and concepts and stuff like this. And a prototype that we did here um, that they were working on that was really about that kind of transition moment in the in the game now uh, the first time you kind of take off from Geneva and that launch sequence and that transition up to um, that first big space battle that is is kind of was kind of the essence of that kind of cool idea the idea that you could transition from something so familiar like a like a storm the hill a charge the hill moment a very kind of modern warfare feeling moment through this very kind of cinematic transition and up and then into something that was totally new and different. There are going to be moments of bombast. There are going to be huge things that happen to these characters. Um, and then there are also going to be things that seem smaller, intimate, and more emotional. And the, the juxtaposition between those two things, we feel that makes it a little bit more impactful. Captain's duty is to get his men home alive, Staff Sergeant. Not always, Lieutenant. Not always. If Infinity Ward succeeds, the result will be a mashup of World War II camaraderie, spectacular blockbuster set pieces, and personal, player-driven moments, all outside the confines of Earth's atmosphere. A story with massive scope, but intimate focus. Got an overdose of trouble here, sir. Infinity Ward was there, right at Call of Duty's inception in 2003. Infinity Ward was there when the shooter entered modern times in 2007. But in recent years, the studios played somewhat of a tertiary role to Treyarch and Sledgehammer games. Yet with Infinite Warfare, with its focus on narrative, player choice, and a bold style of campaign storytelling, Infinity Ward hopes once again to take hold of the franchise it began all those years ago.